السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آور چینل بوٹنی وتھ یو ٹیوب ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر اے پی ایچ ڈی اسکالر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو پریزینٹ اے ٹاپک شوٹ سسٹم شوٹ سسٹم از دی سسٹم کنسسٹ آف اسٹیم لیس and reproductive part of the plant for example flower and fruits the shoot system generally grow above ground where it absorb the light needed for photosynthesis and the other system is root system which support the plant and absorb water and minerals and usually it is underground botany with youtube is our channel if you are new in our channel then please try to subscribe our channel firstly functions the shoot is the production center for a plant it is the organ system that give rise to stem leaves and flowers therefore the shoot system is functionally responsible for food production and reproduction protection in some plants a stem comprises hairy or spiny structure on its surface that harbor a plant from predator some plant like bracken produce toxic materials that also keep away the grazing animals support the ground system or the ground tissues like sclerenchyma and colenchyma also provide strength and rigidity to the stem thus the stem with stand straight or embrace various component of the shoot system like leaves lateral branches buds flowers etc shoot development a shoot development after embryogenesis where a zygote inside an ovule goes through successive mitotic division to form a mature embryo a mature embryo comprises five distinct regions you can observe here the shoot development in diagram ovule seed stem root root tip cotyledons zygote plumule and radicle the upper part of the plant known as shoot system mainly develop from plumule the lower part that is present under soil called the root system and is developed from radicals complete answer is that by the process of fertilization zygote develop into a embryo and turn into seeds radical form shoot system the mainly plumule form the shoot system and the radical as the bud is the first part which originate from the seed germinating seed and uh, it will produce the root system shoot system is an aerial and erect part of the plant body which grow upward it is usually above the soil and develop form plumule of the embryo it consists of stem branches leaves flower fruits and seeds shoot consist of in botany a plant shoot consist of any plant stem together with its appendages leaves and lateral buds flowering stems and flower buds the new growth from seed germination that grow upward 
is a shoot where leaves will develop. You can observe here in diagram. Apical bird, axillary bird, node, branch, leaf, nodes, stem, shoots, internodes. The shoot system, stem and leaves. Stem are a part of shoot system of the plant function their main function is to provide support to the plant holding leaves flower and buds of course they are also connect the root to the leaves transporting absorbing water and minerals from the roots to the rest of the plants and transporting sugar from the leaves to desired location throughout the plant size the main range in length from a few millimeter to hundred of meters and also vary in diameter depending on the plant type stems are usually above ground although the stem of some plants such as potato also grow underground Watching with YouTube is our channel. Share our channel. Share our videos with your other friends, colleagues, and researchers. Modification of stem. Stem can be several different varieties. Herbaceous stem are softened and typically green in color. Woody stem are hard and wooded. Unbranched stem have a single stem. Brown stem have division and side stems. You can observe here the diagram of different types of stems. Plant stems. Plant stem, whether above or below ground, are characterized by the presence of nodes and internodes. Nodes are point of attachment of leaves and flowers. Internodes are the region of stem between the two nodes. Apical meristem. The tip of the shoot contain the apical meristem within the apical bud. Axillary bud. An axillary bud is usually found in the area between the base of the leaf and the stem where it can give rise to branch or a flower. Leaves, shapes, most leaves are usually green due to the presence of chlorophyll in the leaf cells. However, some leaves may have different color caused by other plant pigments that marks the green chlorophyll function. Leaves are the main site for photosynthesis, the process by which plants synthesize food. Most leaves are usually green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll in the leaf cell. However, some leaves may have different colors caused by other plant pigments that marks the green chlorophyll. You can observe here the structure of leaf, midribs, margin, veins, petiole, leaf margin, leaf lamella, leaf tip, petiole. Typically, leaves are attached to the plant stem by a petiole. Though there are also leaves that attach directly to the plant stem. Vascular tissues. The vascular tissues, for example, xylem and phloem run through veins in the leaf, which also provide structural support. Leaf variation. The thickness shape and size of leaves are adapted to specific environments each variation help a plant species 
maximize its chances of survival in a particular habitat coniferous plant leaves the species that thrive in cold environment like spurs fir pines have leaves that are reduced in size and needle like in appearance stomata these needle like leaves have sunken stomata and a smaller surface area two attributes that aids in reducing water loss cactus plant leaves in hot climates plants such as cacti have leaves that are reduced to spines which in combination with their succulent stem help to conserve water many aquatic plant have leaves with white lamina that can float on the surface of water cuticle they have a thick waxy cuticle on the leaf surface that repel water botany with youtube is our channel like our channel like our videos and if you have any question you can ask us in comment section and you can also share your point of view with us plant tissues plant tissue system fall into one of the two general types meristematic tissues and permanent tissues meristematic tissues is analogous to stem cell in animals meristematic tissues are cells or group of cells that have ability to divide function meristematic cells are undifferentiated continue to divide and contribute to the growth of the plant permanent tissue permanent tissue consists of plant cells that are no longer actively divided function such cells take on specific role and lose their ability to divide further they differentiate into three main tissue types dermal vascular ground tissue each plant organ for example root stem leaves contains all three types of tissues dermal tissues dermal tissues cover and protect the plant and control gas exchange and water absorption in roots dermal tissues of the stem and leaves is covered by waxy cuticle that prevent evaporative water loss stomata stomata are specialized pores that allow a gas exchange through hole in the cuticle unlike the stem and leaves the root epidermis is not covered by a waxy cuticle which could prevent absorption of water root hairs root hairs which are extension of root epidermal cells increase the surface of root and greatly contributing to the absorption of water and minerals trichomes trichomes are small hair like or spiky outgrowth of epidermal tissues they may be present on the stem and leaves and aids in defense against herbivores ground tissues a ground tissue is a plant tissue other than those of the dermal tissue and the vascular tissues 
it feels in the soft part of the plant such as cortex pith pericycle etc there are three fundamental type of cells that make up a ground tissues for example parenchyma sclerenchyma and colon chyma cells functions ground tissues carry out different function based on the cell types and location in plants and includes parenchyma colon chyma sclerenchyma chyma is the site of photosynthesis provide a supporting matrix for the vascular tissues and provides structural support for the stem and help to store water and sugar vascular tissues you can observe here in diagram xylem phloem are collectively called vascular tissues vascular tissues transport water minerals and sugar to different part of the plant vascular tissues is made up of two specialized conducting tissues xylem and phloem xylem tissue transport water nutrients from the root to different part of the plant and also play an important role in structural support in the stem phloem tissue phloem tissue transport organic compounds from the site of photosynthesis to other part of the plant the xylem and phloem always lie adjacent to each other in vascular bundles general overview on shoot system you can observe here in diagram cuticle epidermis xylem phloem spongy mesophylls epidermis the structure of root system and plant and root system conclusion the shoot is the production center for a plant it is the organ system that give rise to stem leaves and flowers therefore the shoot system is functionally responsible for food production and reproduction the shoot system uses the root system to draw up water and nutrients and deliver them to where they need to go in the plant leaves once there the leaf will use these material in photosynthesis as the leaf absorb sunlight thanks to visit our channel thanks for your concentration for your attention good luck to all of you allah hafiz